Shawnee, it's lovely to see here at London Film and Comic Con. It's been a busy old day, hasn't it? It's really busy and it's really hot. And I feel like, um, you know, I'm in short sleeves, but there's some people walking around today in costumes that are leather and stuck and there's fur and the, I, I don't know how they're doing it, you know? It's really hot. I can't believe this is London. <laughs> I know, exactly. Have you done this event before? I've not done this event before. This is the first London convention, first London Comic Con. So, yeah, it's really cool because I'd only done the one in uh, in San Diego, and um, I don't know. I dare say this is bigger. Like this is huge. It's massive. I had no idea what to expect. So it's been a real pleasant surprise. And last time we spoke, we were talking a bit about an all action, all female movie that you were working on—a kind of kind of female Expendables, if you like. And I wondered what kind of stage you're at with that, because everyone's kind of thinking, "God, it, this sounds fantastic. We want to see it." Yes, it does sound good, doesn't it? it would be good if it sort of had another step. Um, I'm honestly not sure with that one what's happening. I mean, I really would love to see it happen, but I, I don't know any more than the last time I spoke to you, any more about it. But um, I'm still hopeful that it can happen because, like everyone else, I would really look forward to seeing a all-female, expendable sort of version of the film. And, you know, the, the male one does so well. Why not do it with the females? Now, just to clear it up, because I know there is kind of confusion out there on the internet and um, fans of yours might be a bit confused as well, because there's the, the movie that you are, attached to with Katie Sackoff and Gina Carano which is being called by people on the internet kind of a female Expendables but then right. there's also I guess the franchise the Expendables with Sylvester Stallone right. who also came along and said well we're going to make a movie now so that, right. there's that difference isn't there? It's just completely different really um, I mean uh, there's already obviously a male Expendables so if that same production company goes ahead and does a female version that would be the female version of the Expendables because that is their company we never named our movie the female Expendables that's just what the, the press have named it because you've got three action women together and that's what the movie's looking like it's going to roughly go towards is gearing towards that scripts are completely different would be a completely different film um, but yeah I think just because it's a similar idea of getting women together and 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 the fact that Sly actually has the franchise and we would be a completely different cast and a different script and a different story and um, completely different action and yeah it would be like night and day the films so it, I think it's just getting lost in 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 the wording of, of the female expendables which is not the name of the movie at all. <laughs> does the movie have a title yet? No I don't believe it does the untitled Adi Shankar project yeah I mean if you could have anything happen in that what would you like to see you three guys and whoever else comes on board doing in that movie? Doing? Yeah. Oh man, I just think it would be really interesting because we all really like we really come from different backgrounds and our strengths even though we're all very much action women our strengths lie completely in different parts of 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 action, you know? I mean, I mean Gina does what Gina does, you know, and I don't do that at all. Like she is so strong and she's so coming from that world of fighting and I don't come from that world. I come from a ballerina world. So I come from a dancing world and like sort of Jack be nimble, Jack be quick is how I would picture my like whip it snippet character, you know? Um, she's fast and she's nimble and she's just sort of here, there and everywhere and that girl's like the strength and then Katie would be what Katie does, you know, maybe with weapons or something or, you know, I just think that it, it, it can take on, you've got similar um, action women but they're nothing the same so it's actually really interesting what would happen when they combine forces. Yeah, can't wait for this to happen. Yeah. Now, um, you mentioned Patrick, of course, as well, and in that you were starring with uh, Charles Dance, who yeah. is in Game of Thrones. I mean, what was it like to work with Charles Dance on that? It was insane. Um, I have, like, a confession in that I had not watched Game of Thrones um, when I actually met Sir Dance. And, uh, but I, that doesn't mean I didn't know who he was. Um, I was very aware and uh, it was quite intimidating at first because, to be honest, that man walks into a room and he's like royalty. He doesn't mean to be, he just is. <laughs> he's just got this presence and he's so warm and charismatic but at the same time like like you just you just lost in him almost like because he just carries himself so well and um, he's such a nice person and so down to earth but it was kind of cool because my character in Patrick had to be a little bit intimidated and wary of the doctor and that's kind of at first the reaction that I had with Charles until you know he came up and kissed me on the forehead the first day and I was like alright I'm gonna get kisses from Charles every day on the forehead 
it's okay, no, it's fine. I love this job. <laughs> he's such a sweet man, you know, and he plays the villain so well. And he's nothing like it. So um, it's just like a dream come true to work with him, you know. It was a real honour actually to be at Sitges last year in, in Spain and, and to have Patrick screen and then to also be there with Charles while he accepted his, you know, honorary lifetime achievement award. And um, I actually walked down the auditorium um, and I didn't know this was coming but we all walked down the auditorium to go onto the stage and he put his arm out like that and I hooked my arm in. I felt like I was at my damn wedding. It was incredible. I was like, wow, look at the respect that you get when you're on the arm of a man like that. Never felt anything like it. It was just incredible. Like all the, the reaction from this auditorium, the reception that he gets is just, it's utmost respect first. And um, it was just amazing. Just to be around him is so great, you know. And what can we look forward to next from you, Sean? Uh, I actually just shot a film in China um, with Jackie Chan. Uh, yeah, you might have the first scoop on that one, but um, yeah, it's, it was amazing. Jackie Chan's been an idol of mine, oh, forever, you know, and um, what was actually even more amazing was to meet him in person and he's actually even more of an inspiration and a hero off screen than he is on, which says a lot because he, he can't get bigger. Um, but he's just so devoted to his charities and you know to giving back and that's really what he, he is all about. And he does it on his own dime and in his own time and when he's not shooting, that's what he's doing. And the videos that he's put together of how he really is changing the world um, and inspiring these kids to, to make their dreams come true and, and the happiness that it's providing them is just, that's the idol that is Jackie Chan. So um, yeah, it was a real pleasure. I didn't actually get to shoot a scene with him. I'm only in a very small part of the of the film, but um, you know, I got to act opposite John Cusack and Adrian Brody. So you can't ask for like Charles Dance. You know, it's, I'm just working with incredible people at the moment, so I couldn't be more blessed, really. And what's the name of the film? So you look out for it. Dragon Blade. It comes out the Chinese New Year first day in February next year. Yeah. And what's it about? It's an action epic adventure. Picture Jackie Chan in his element, add John Cusack to the mix as his, as his sidekick hero and then add Adrian Brody as the villain. I'm the queen of the Roman Empire. Um, it's, 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 a, it's an epic, it's a typical Jackie epic, you know, and uh, I think, I believe it's the highest budget Chinese film ever made to date, so hopefully it's going to pay off. <laughs> what was it like being involved in that then? I've never in my life been involved with a production that was that budget, you know, and it's interesting because your next, um, to this day, is my most rewarding film that I've ever done. That was a half a million dollar budget. So it really does go to show you that it's just got nothing to do with, I don't think, money. Um, it's quality of, of product and you can make that on a low dime, you can make it on a high dime, but it's the people that you're working with, it's the director, it's the actors, um, you know, and this was such a huge budget, it was just crazy to be on this set and just to see what really happens when money, money comes into play, you know, because we lived in a trailer pretty much for Your Next, I loved it. I loved it. But then you step onto this set and it's hanged in World Studios and it's just absolutely mind-blowing. It's like, wow, this is a set, <laughs> you know? And there's horses everywhere and it's beautiful. Give the little taste of what your character's about. Um, I'm really in the film, it's, it's all about the guys, you know? I'm very, very small part in the film, probably only five, ten minutes of the film. Um, I play the Queen of the Roman Empire. The film shot in uh, 48 BC and it's set during the Han Dynasty. So it's all about the Silk Road. Um, and you'll see me in flashbacks um, in a very difficult love, sort of forbidden love, you know, with John Cusack's character. Yeah, she's, he's a warrior and I'm the queen and it's forbidden. So, yeah, there's a bit of pain behind the queen and I had to learn how to play the harp. Yes, that was tough <laughs> in a day. <laughs> yes, my teacher said she had 10 years lessons 
to learn how to play the harp and I had three hours, so we'll see how good that looks. <laughs> see if I pulled that one off. We'll see. Yeah. Shani, it's been lovely talking to you as, as always. always. Thanks so much for your time. Thank you so much.